Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Fox Den. And tonight, I have a special treat for you. In the, uh... In the... Spirit of... Scary games and Halloween everything. Um... In the spirit of scary games and one second. Okay. So in the spirit of scary games and Halloween and everything, um I got to thinking about it and I wasn't really comfortable continuing with SC Containment Breach. But I wanted to do something. So, I decided I am going to bring back Resident Evil 2. And its ominous horn. Uh, unlockables. Story. Game. This time, I am going to play as Claire Redfield. Standard. So... It's, it's been a hot minute. I'm serious, so can I show this with my own eyes? Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. Walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse, like a walking corpse, man. Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, you'll sink to pieces. Oh, come on. Just getting good. I'm going to name this guy Cheeseburger Carl. Coming to get you, Carl. Yeah, I'm almost back. You know me, I'll be fine. Sounds good. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. I will, but I gotta go. Because you're entering Raccoon City. What the? Hello? Can I take the fire extinguisher? Can I see the top car? Can 
I bore gas on this entire station and light it on fire? Nobody you want to run into. Hello? I'm I'm going to steal some donuts, okay? Sound like you're busy back there. I'm also going to take a rock star. And maybe some beer. Are you okay? Does Wait he here. look okay? I already know what's gonna happen. That motherfucker locked me in here. face reveal every time every Don't time Try and get out. Can I just like double tap you in the face, please? Where are you? I'm already dying. I hate this. I hate it. No way. Okay. Can't be alive. Oh, come on. Yes, I know how to use items. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. Well, that's. I'm dead. Ah, <laughs> huh. appears is that being dead isn't the only one of my problems. All right, I will be right back.
right, I am back. Um, what a prime time for my controller to die on me. Huh. Oh, no, no, you can't have me. You can't have me. No, don't shoot. Get down. Headshot. Gotta get out of here. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. Just bang me later. And we're safe. Holy oh, shit. They'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Leon Claire. No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop, too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. And now we get the intro seat. You know, I've said this before. I love this game. I love this game so much. This was, and, and I've probably said this before, but this was the first horror game I actually ever played. friend of mine uh, brought it over and was like, hey, you need to play this. By the way, do it at midnight with all the lights in your place off. Don't listen to your asshole friends when they give you bad ideas. Just saying. <laughs> Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, we're advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. God, this is so new. Police station's not much farther. You'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. <laughs> Leon, your optimism is ever so refreshing. Looks like we're walking from here. Oh, look, it's lunch. Cheeseburger Carl! Holy shit. There, get out. Get out now! Damn it, cheeseburger, Carl.
okay? Yeah, I'm all right. What about you? I can't stay here. It's not safe. Nope. 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 You guys can't have me. Can't stop. Gotta I'm too moving. fast. I'm too fast. Can't catch me. It's like the end of the world. <gasps> yeah, it basically is. Welcome to Armageddon, brought to you by the Umbrella Corporation. Almost there. Okay. And to anybody that say anything about me not enjoying, um. I probably won't be engaging a whole lot in this game because you you have to conserve ammo like really badly. Make sure those doors are shut. Thank you. Anybody here? Ah. No, I don't want to swap here. That load. Oh my god, it's going to take forever to read. Come on, Chris. Where are you? Oh shit. They're inside too. David. Dude, there are no reinforcements. You are the reinforcement. I should help this guy. Or maybe not. Did? All right. So we're gonna save the game because there's one thing I've learned through years of playing games like this. It's that saving. Going to be your best friend. Oh, that take the first aid spray, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. Open the door. I don't Focus. trust this game. Focus. Lockers. Anything else I can pick up? Okay. So how is everybody doing tonight? Me, I'm just one. You guys are trying to 
out what's gonna jump at me next. Oh, there's some spaghetti. Oh, uh, Batman, nice to see you. Running shoes. I was riding a motorcycle, so I probably don't need running shoes. Probably got some like, good fun. Hey. I can't get in there. What am I missing? That I need to find. Don't mind me, I'm going to spin around a lot because, uh, okay, well, I'm entirely sure I can remove any paint. Oh, good, and I can't get back. I found the toilet paper hoard. Hey, uh, what? We have lights. Hey, well, that's moderate good. Nice stomping. Oh, you know what? I'm not stuck. I'm just unobservant. Locker of. What do you want to give me? Like, uh, I don't know, ammo or. D4? Be kind of nice. Oh, screw this. Bathrooms and horror games are never, ever a good thing. Oh, oh my god. Yep. Oh my god, indeed. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Uh... Open this goddamn door! Oh, I know what I gotta do that. Okay, oh, exit. No. I'm here. Open the door. Hurry up. Hurry up. Open it. Larry, give me your hand. Help me. Hold on. Give me your, give me your other hand. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh. Officer notebook. Yeah, so this is news about the statue. How to get the uh, things to 
at you. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, god damn it! Get off me! Son of a bitch! Oh, fuck that. I don't have time to waste all my ammo on that son of a bitch. Get me out of here. 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 Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Shit, 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 shit. Obviously, someone taught you well. Yeah. I know how to take care of myself. Come on. I know how to take care of myself, you know, unless something is grabbing my foot and trying to eat me. So nobody knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah. All in with zombies. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? That's that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. Don't mind my bloody fingerprints hey, all over this book. We should probably get you to a hospital. Uh, forget about it. I can take care of myself. We yeah. should probably get you to the hospital. Ridiculous. Never mind the fact that there is an ongoing zombie apocalypse. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now. You'll probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're gonna And be careful. If you see one of those things. No matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. <laughs> yeah, I have the, yeah, it's only a little blood. He's fine. He just needs to, you know. Get a band-aid. He'll be okay. Combat knife. Now I have the revolver and the combat knife. And I have to go solve a bunch of puzzles. Oh boy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot that they literally made it that easy. Yeah, I know. Pages book. But, uh, I think this is the lion statue. That would be lion branch fur. Yep, this is the lion statue. So. Bird. It's just a little band aid and good as new. I got one of the three things that I need to get into the basement. Hey, look at 
Look at this. Yes. I'm very, very familiar with Nerve. I could probably cheat to find the code on. Not gonna do that. Not gonna do it. Travel pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoons. No. Oh, well, we are the home. Giant Umbrella Corporation. Who has never once released a zombie outbreak in the history of their company. Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a rich, long history bone. In this guide, we'll introduce you to I'm Already Bored to see. It turns a museum into a police station. Uh, whoever designed Raccoon City? And Aiden, a kiss on the head. Or, you know, you could share your weed with him. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. I just met the guy. You know, it, share your guy that you just met who probably later on going to try and bite you in the neck. Oh. Oh, I cannot. Okay, well, I guess we're going this way then. That door's locked too. Fantastic. Downstairs. Going downstairs. Irvin, you wouldn't happen to have some, like, monster energy on you or something, would you? Running around shit is, like... A will warn Probably get rid of that. Do I actually... Do I actually have to... Oh, I didn't take the knife from him! That's why! Knife. Yes. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah, ah, ah. But that I like how the gate was like high enough I could clear under it, but I still couldn't clear under it because It, it's animation wasn't done yet. Okay, down the dark hallway. This guy. This guy is not dead. This guy is not dead. Maybe this guy is dead. He's just sleeping. Who's there? That guy. Now, this guy is totally dead. But, when I walk by, he's going to drop down. Ugh. So, that, that will. I hate to say it, dude. But that might require a couple of stitches. That might require a couple of stitches. 
confiscated items. Yeah, look what I did by shooting him. You know, the last time I played this, I got into a lot of trouble. Um, because I kept double tapping dead people because in this game you can never quite be sure. So I burned all of my ammo double tapping. You can stay out, thank you. Well, god damn it. Wouldn't you stay outside? Nope. Can't come in here. Record of events. September 25th. Turning the station into a temporary shelter due to massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to try to accommodate as possible. September 25th. Addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and in others. The person in question was quickly restrained the case of someone snapping under and stress. September 26th, the mob attacked the state. Number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it to shutters. But grounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to place. We're not sure we have any of our comm equipment. So we off to the outside world. September 27th. There was another flashed at the west side of the station around 1 p.m. 12 people died. There's only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling in right here. David. I like the fact that he, like, actually signed his paperwork. Yeah. I can, I can move faster than you can. Thank you. So, please fuck her off. Also, by the way, see ya! Two headshots. I'm not even sure he's dead still. I keep forgetting you have to manually reload this. Fuck. That is, that's like the big downside to Claire's run. Is that like Leon gets the, uh, the police handgun. Claire gets the revolver. Pause it. Here we can open lockers for cash and prizes. Oh, so, let's see. Fix. Because you can't open 103 because... Oh. Button. So... Fix. Okay. Oh, nine. And you can't get anything on this side because buttons, but. Ah, uh, yes, locker one oh nine. Holy grail of this game, bullets. Storage locker terminal memo. 
appears that the key had a locker terminal missing. I suggest the person responsible for this man find some spare key that fixes this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who the fuck else would fuck up this badly? I'm assuming it's Joe. Shoot you. Oh, I can shoot him through the grate. That's five. Five shots. Six. Seven. Eight. I I'm not sure I can sh Oh my god, hi. I'm gonna have to kill you so I can get that back. Oh my god. Can I have my knife back, please? Thank you. One of the things I absolutely, absolutely love about this game is that you play so many zombie games, and it's like... Well, that's not good. Uh, I'm going to take that and find that. Yay, I got mixed herb. I need this. What don't I need? I don't need that key. God damn it. Okay. Well, I know where I'm at. This is... Gunpowder. That's gonna be bullets, that's more immediate. So this is one of the save rooms. Uh medicinal benefits of herbs. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injury, while blue herbs have the have long been treated. As for red herb, visually appealing to offer it's so we thought until recently. Finding her heightened effects. So basically, if you mix it, um, if you mix a blue and a red, it'll up your constitution. If you mix a red and a green, it makes the potent. Okay, what I need that that at the don't need that. No. Got a couple items. Oh, this is where but I'm right where I need. This is the room that you have to do in. Ah. Don't use hammers. Photo. So that's that's a clue to something, but it got rid of something. Room contains evidence. Do not leave out. What a out. Okay, let's actually head earth around. Save. So I don't know how many of you played original Resident. Um, but in the original Resident Evil 2, 
Steve says typewriter. But you had to go through and find um, typewriter basically reels of ink to uh, you had to find reels of ink to to save so you had a limited save system which made the game so much more intense oh this motherfucker is not dead Have enough bullets to shoot you in the face. Okay. We are now in the men's room. Oh, the men's locker room. Okay, so one of these. Oh, look. Got here. Flame rounds. I'll take those for safekeeping. Portable safe instructions. Oh, um, this basically tells you that this thing has to be dicked with until you, uh... Yeah, I already know. Uh, examine. So, what you gotta do is basically gotta... What you basically got to do is stumble fuck your way through until you figure out the right button presses. First time I played this, I got this like the first time I tried, ironically. There we go. And then that opens up and you get the spare part, which is the one of the two keys you need for the weapon storage. So, this game is such an asshole that one of these lockers has a body in it. And the first time I played through this, I was wildly unaware I, it might be not gonna open. I need a valve to get that turn. Yeah, basically, there's a dead body in the locker, and the first time I played this, I was standing right here, and that body fell on me, and I about screamed. Uh. E. E. Oh. Eh. That wasn't it. Titan Seek Champion 2020. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Uh. Oh, look at that. It's a, it's a red herb. That we don't have room for. Uh. Let me ready my weapon. See, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Your ass. Stay there. Stay there. Give me my bullets back. These guys down here are kind of big mad I locked them out. Hi. 
How's it going? Oh, are you upset you can't get in? Oh, you. Hi. Damn it. Sit still. Don't move while I'm shooting you in the face. Okay, so I'm gonna here. I've still got the med spray and gunpowder, although I feel like I could probably because if you uh if you find two gunpowders you can find them with bullets. Crafting system. Which isn't very crafty. <laughs> Really? Asshole. I love how done Claire sounds with that. She's just like asshole. I shoot you in the face, you lay down. That's how this game is played. And as a inner side note. Anybody there? So now we can use 200 lockers up to which has storage in it, of course. Of course, it does. Eight. Really? Got gunpowder. 103 has got a combat knife. So what I was what I was saying. Anybody um is wondering why I'm not necessarily like scared at, at the particular moment because i played through this part of this game a couple three times it won't be in, like get out of um office i come i did not come through i don't trust you I don't trust you Ah, uh, see, and now... Pieces of gunpowder. Regular handgun gunpowder. Acid round. A grade gunpowder. A machine powder. Okay. I do like. Oh, bullets. And then go this. Oh. Here. And suddenly I have a butt ton of bullets. And I think what I'm going to do, because we're getting uh, time here, is I am going to back the room. I'm down one more save real quick. And call it for tonight. I am, I am super. I did to be back into this game. I love the Resident Evil franchise, and easily my favorite Resident Evil game is the second. 
So, like, I was super excited when they announced that it's gonna be a remake. And I'm so glad that I actually, like, decided to pick this up again. Because I really miss it. This is this is the kind of horror game that I love. Low burn game with, you know, some, like, kind of jump scary moments in it. But it's a real slow burn game. And I love that. I, the, the horror gets me most personally is not the horror that's like a sudden burst of adrenaline and you're like oh my god it jumped out at me it's the horror that you actually have to think about and by that i mean like um a good example is like a game that feels super tense and you know something bad is around a corner but it lets you sit on that for like a really long time and this game is one of them. so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and call it here for tonight thank you all so much for coming out and starting the resident Evil journey with me again um this will be the saturday game for a while and uh i'm looking forward to getting through the playthrough so be sure to stick around, or not stick around, but come back tomorrow night. And I haven't decided. I've got two games that I'm considering playing for tomorrow night. And that's it's either going to be Doom Eternal or Watch Dogs 2, which I, I've found to be a lot of fun. So it will either be one or the other of those. And that is tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. Be sure to check out the links down below. Um, the merch shop is up, and it is amazing. It's got so much like really awesome stuff in it. If you've ever wanted to wander around with logo slap on your chest or my face on your face, we do have box face masks. Be sure to check the uh, swag shop. Link is down below. And as well, I wanted to put this out there. If you look at the links down below, there is a link to the Voodoo Fox Studio YouTube channel. And I am hosting my replays on that channel. So if you missed a show and you want to catch up or you want to rewatch a show... Those will usually be put out the day after the stream errors, and they are full streams, so you can catch those there. So anyway, thank you guys once again for coming out and starting Resident Evil Journey with me, and I, I'm i looking forward to this. So until tomorrow, stay safe, stay sane, stay awesome. I will see you guys later. Peace.